Well, everybody looking good on the stage today. I guess they got their fashion in order, I guess. Mama D, I don't know what the hell that is around your neck with them necklace, but okay, we gonna run with that. You look good regardless. Now on to the bullshit. Kirk and goddamn Rashida, fake-ass scripted-ass storyline with these fake-ass actors that's being paid. You might not get too much here, but I'm going to try to squeeze something out of this stupid-ass storyline. Black excellence, black love, Kirk and Rashida. You know what with that dumbass comment, Stevie? I'm going to let you have this. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to let you have that one. If that what you consider black love, fake storylines, he may or may not be cheating on Rashida. This fake-ass storyline with this fake-ass baby that they didn't bought for um, Rod. If you call that black excellence just to stay on TV to get a check, okay, fine. It's black excellence. I call it bullshit, however, but let's run with black excellence. Is that what you want to call it, that is not my definition of black excellence. I don't give a damn how much you twist that story. And yeah, Kurt, I'm looking at you. Well, I'm always looking at you sideways, so what else is new? This is not going to be new for me neither. So, the woman that's sharing your bed with you, the woman you so-called love, adore, honor, you didn't cheat on her half a million times, but still, you decide to share with your homeboy before you share with your woman. Sad excuse of a black mark. A sad excuse of a black uh, I guess you plan on having sex with your boys besides telling your girl... Like I said, this is so fake and so scripted, but I'm going to run with it for the night only and one night only. They getting y'all out the way first. I'm okay with that. So let's start there. Kirk, do I need to say you a dumb ass? Have I already determined that you a dumb ass? You could at least gave, at least gave your woman a heads up before your long neck so-called baby mama went and told Rashida for all this hit the shit. I'm pretty sure she had to find out from a second, third, or the internet that you had a baby out there and that you didn't cheat it on her. That was your first fuck up. Your second fuck up is that you can't keep it in your pants long enough to have a relationship and you wonder why dumbass keep on kicking you out. Y'all so-called, y'all so-called married to home. I'm not falling for that neither. Like, I'm already exhausted just listening to them. Yeah, I'm pretty sure y'all doing good. Y'all doing well, aren't you, Rashida? Mm hmm Because you know this shit is as fake as I believe it. Mm hmm It's fake. It's easy to get off of this because you think about the money you're going to get for coming out with this false ass. Well, Kurt, for coming out with this fake ass storyline, and you just going with it like the idiot you are for a paycheck. So you got to do something between press and the workout video. You got to do something to earn the check for Mona Scott Young, I guess. So go on here. You know what? I ain't mad at you. I ain't mad at you for taking the money. As Kurt the dummy, the cheater, the liar, the scumbag, gonna help make you money. And all you gotta do is just make a couple of fights and then pretend like you shot, or you are you clutching your pearls, or you just play kick him out when the camera leaves. He come back in. If all I gotta do that for a paycheck, I guess I'll be in too. So I'm not gonna fault you too bad on that, Rashida. So I'm pretty sure y'all is doing well now that the story over. Well, almost so. You still got to deal with this for 18 years, and I'm pretty sure we're gonna see this next season. So I'm pretty sure you enjoying your paychecks and jump. Just don't throw the fake shit at my way. Cause it's always gonna be denied. I'm just letting y'all know right now. I ain't stunned Kirk and Rashida. I don't care less. Y'all can do whatever the fuck y'all want to when it come to y'all fake storylines. I'm not interested. I never been interested. You got me to like, you got me through, I say half of last, well, all of last season, the middle of this season. Until I started seeing more evidence that y'all both liars and y'all coming up with these false storylines. So, y'all ain't fooling me with these storylines, but okay. <sighs> the pop-up princess, as Nina called her, the pop-up princess. Now, what black woman 
in America with a business, a company, can't let some random bitch, my husband and fucked and got pregnant, just walk up in there and have a conversation with my customers and all my co-workers or people I'm hired to run my business. Besides them running them out with the purses or sudden beating them across the head. That's all I want to know. And Jasmine would have walked in anybody else shop like she did Rashida or like she did Rashida Mama. I promise you that heifer would have walked out there with a loose wig, clothes probably tore up, probably would have been crawling out of there. Ain't no way, no hell. That's when the stuff started adding to me when this shit was fake. Because ain't nobody just going to walk up in there. Not how love and hip hop let y'all love the fight on this show. And I possibly y'all just gonna let this help for this walk up in y'all shop. Y'all ain't gonna have tasers and bat re bats ready for that ass. Ready to zap a bitch time she walk in the door. Telling her she got 10 seconds to get out and never return. Mm hmm. I believe. Mm hmm. Okay. Well. Let's be serious and let's go back to and let's go back to the black woman in your shoes. Do you really think and I supposed to believe that you gonna sit there and let this helper apologize to you and come see you, Rashida? Straight face. Come and say, look, I put your husband, look, I'm pregnant, I'm sorry, I didn't mean it. If you're gonna beat my ass, go ahead. Rashida, what woman going to sit there and allow another woman that slept with their husband and had a baby going to sit there and have a full-blown conversation, have tea? Have tea, drink wine. Rashida, now you becoming unrealistic now. Because ain't no woman I know going to allow another woman to sit there that cheated on, well, not cheated, that had sex with their husband. And we going to sit down and come and have a one-on-one -on -one conversation about it. Rashida, cut it out. You know why Kurt didn't tell his wife that she was pregnant or you got another bitch pregnant? Cause Kurt not a real live man. He might look like a man. He might got nice jewelry around his neck. He might drive nice cars. He might have a little piece of change. Kirk ain't no real man. Kirk is a boy playing as a grown ass man that's married. Cause ain't no real man gonna do half of the bullshit he do. So either Kurt not a real ass man, or this this or this just a fake ass storyline. Which one is it? Come on now, not with the truth now, cause I'm tired of playing around with y'all too. Yes, Jasmine, you were looking for a pity party. Yes, Jasmine, you was doing too much. Yes, Jasmine, Rashida should have beat the brakes off of you and also her damn husband. Now, Rashida. Just cause she's a scripper, I think she's a scripper. Whatever her occupation is and whatever she make her money. She ain't the only one that opened her legs. Come on now, Rashida. Why you trying to call her a low-key slut or a hoe? You need to call your husband the same thing. Cause they take two to they take two people to tango. Your husband was willing to tango with her. And do the dosey -si do and all them other fancy dances. He was willing to do all them with her. So while she opened her leg, Kurt could have ran out the door or turned his back. Kurt tried to dive on in on it. So while you trying to low key call her a slut, you need to be calling your husband one too. I'm just saying, Rashida, don't act all bad all of a sudden at the reunion. We never saw you this crunk on Kurt, but now you crunk at the girl that slept with your husband. Bye, Rashida. Goodbye. Oh, Tierra, 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 Tierra. You and your long ass bangs that you got to hold up like this just to see. Look here. You did that for a storyline. Jasmine was your storyline this season. You were supposed to be on the show, but unfortunately, I guess you couldn't form up a storyline, I'm guessing. So you decided to tag along with Jasmine because you think she or Rashida a um I'm sorry even though she deserved a beat down for that and Jasmine was kind of your storyline your leading lady I should say so Tiara gone with the bullshit too I'm not here for you neither bangs gone about your business oh Mimi you and this little grand what is it salt and pepper hair with the little curls um I don't know 
how I feel about that. I, I want to say you look good with the. Let me let me give you a slow down. I want to say you look. Oh Lord, VH1, quit the being your shit. Let me. Um, get back to Rashida, damn it. Um. Uh, okay, Mimi, I can accept that hair. You look all right with it, I guess. You 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 look kind of young with it. The dress is a no for me, but you look all right with it with your little bright smile. You didn't right, you didn't whiten your teeth. Oh, okay. Um, Mimi, I can fuck with that hair. You look kind of good in that hair. It's a no for the dress, though. Hell no for the dress. Oh please, win back Rashida trust. Yeah, mm-hmm. How hard are we working on getting back this trust, you say, Nina? First of all, let's start them. Second of all, this all for a check. All you got to do is just hand her a check and she happy. Clearly, all this, he didn't cheat on her, dealing with his baby mama, so-called baby mama. And all of a sudden, she pulled up, talking about some. We were just watching something in the TV, and we happened to lay in the bed together, mm -hmm, hugging all that in the morning. We saw Rashida. So are you lying now? Or are you lying now? Are you lying now? Or was you lying then? Which one are you lying about, Rashida? Well, Erica, just the second time he ever argued with a man. He argued with. Little Scrappy, Young Scrappy, whatever. Scrappy, Mama D son, and he argued with Sean Garrett. Well, two, three, well, two times I think. So two times as we count. And so this ain't the first time, but you absolutely right that he loved to argue with a female, and he do got some whole trays. Cause Stevie J do be acting like a hoe at times. I give you that when absolutely use that mouth, Erica, and we'll get along good tonight. Use it, cause you can say a whole lot of shit about Stevie that'll hurt his damn feelings. Oh, Stevie, 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 whatever we calling you today. Don't talk about nobody kids and spending time. When have you ever spent time with your kids? I mean, come on, really. The one keep on sending you the child support cord cause your ass ended up not paying it cause you can't afford it or whatever the hell going on with you and your child support. I ain't judging though, but read the Erica men to spend time with her kids or not. At least she ain't in trouble about child support or got her man in or her baby daddy and her baby daddy and child support over no um child support check. Stevie, you have no room. Cut it out. Remove that from your mind. Don't talk about nobody kids. And if you let your daughter fight that old ass lady, you and your daughter going to jail for elderly abuse. I think Erica men are pushing 40. Yep, that's elderly abuse. If your daughter touch that old ass lady, she going to jail for elderly abuse. Stevie... You ain't, you ain't, you ain't gonna do shit. You talking all that shit. You tried to fight Nico. You tried to fight, um, Lord, we finna go back through the crib. Um, Alfio used to be husband. Benzino, you tried to fight him. Stevie, you might think you about that live, but you ain't really about that live. I mean, come on now. We never saw you fight. How long you done been, you done been on this show for seven damn seasons? You couldn't much fight young, a young Scrappy. Little Scrappy fight. I'm right. For you couldn't much fight him. Stevie, give it up. I don't believe for one damn second your old ass gonna fight nobody. The only thing you busting is S.A. Leader, her watermelon. That's the only thing you busting. You ain't going to bust no damn fish. You ain't going to bust a damn grave. Stevie, shut the hell up. To be fair and honest, Erica, that whole lot didn't have to fuck or suck dick to get to the top. Normally, you know this and you know this well, Erica. Well, you ain't never got your foot in the door quite yet into the music industry, so... 
That be the number one thing or the number one trending topic when they see a new artist, a new breakout star, a new female artist, rapper, whatever you want to be in the music industry. You suck dick or you fucked your way to the top. Now, as they lead it, it's a testimony to that. So now you see why she said it. She said it just because she didn't do that. But as they lead her, was a hit dog that got hollered when... The McDonald's character threw that rock at Estee Lita leg, so I can see why Estee Lita got mad, cause she was that hit dog and she hollered, cause somebody ran over her toe. So that's why the dog started barking and hollering for her live like somebody was trying to kill her, cause it was facts and Estee Lita couldn't stand that heat she got on that ass. You right about that, Brittany. Estee Lita, Erica. I can understand why they're coming after you because you mostly talked about her child and as they lead them, she's just a walking contradiction. So I can understand. Spicy, still don't understand why you still trying to get at the McDonald's character. I thought you liked the McDonald's. I guess not. I guess you don't like the little toys they get with you, with your Happy Meal. So, yeah, Spicy, what is your problem when they come to just Britney? Because I don't understand your tie-in to the whole thing. I know you, Estee Lita, and Erica are cool. But Spice, why would you want to get hit in the face for these hoes? Y'all all collecting the check together, well, separately. But that don't mean just because I call you a friend, I'm going to get hit in the face for you. Or get boxed on the face and on TV for you. Or I get kicked, stabbed, stumped, or whatever on TV for you. Now you going to be on the friendship line now, Spice. I still don't understand why you got a problem with Britney, but okay. Oh my gosh, Carly Red and the bird in her escapades. And her sunflower seeds everywhere besides eating. And she got a trail of men, Sean Garrett, not Young Jug. I didn't tell Young Jug and Carly Red why, they, why don't they go ahead and get married and have some little birds and some children. Cause clearly she want young jog. I don't give a damn how much she deny. I don't care how many men she parade in front of young jog. She always run back to young jog and young jog always like this, ready to hug her ass. Don't matter what, no matter what. Let's be honest and let's be clear here. Carly Red is a bird, a parrot. Where exactly else do she supposed to have sex at? In the birdhouse, nope, she too big for that. In the cage, nah, that wouldn't work neither. That side of a building, that sounds about right where a bird will have said, said. So, yeah, I'm all surprised that Carly Red wanted to wreck there, wreck there, and wreck now from Young Jock. Exactly. No, I'm not, no, no, I'm not, it. um, no, I'm not shocked that she went that far to have sex with him on the side of a building. I'm not shocked by nothing Carly Red do at all. I'm immune to that hell for As they leader, I have no respect for you. And here is why. If you were so serious about your craft, getting music, producing music, and putting it out there for the world to buy, listen to, and enjoy, you wouldn't have opened your leg to Stevie J. That's one. Two, I'm pretty sure you well of aware or know about or heard stories from Mimi about what or, um Stevie J put Jocelyn into, so you should have known to put a lock on your legs. And make sure that the gate stayed closed so he couldn't get no injury. Three, Stevie J made you look like a damn fool. And you still look like a damn fool still to this day. Um, I can only hope Erica learned you a few, a few tricks or whatever. But as of right now, you look like a damn fool. And look like Stevie J just pimping you out. So, if I was you, if I'm serious about my music... I think I'll keep my legs closed and we'll focus on the music. Jocelyn tried to do that. She got on the charts at least. I will at least give her that. Um, Jocelyn did give him some pussy. They did have sex. I don't know how many times she sold. I don't know how many um, songs she bought, um, people bought from her. 
But at least the helper did have songs on iTunes and Google Play, I think. I can give her that much credit. As they lead them, as they talk on, the ball is in your court. Let's see if you hit the iTunes charts. I don't care if you get 100, just as long as you hit the charts. That's all I want to see from you. Now, if you do that, you're doing your job well. Now, if you don't never hit the charts and you done with Stevie, that was just a waste of your damn time and a waste of a wet ass. That's how I feel about you, Estee Taco. Oh, so Estee Taco and Stevie, ain't no, he ain't no longer her manager because this Danger Zone Latino, <laughs> It wasn't no LST and it wasn't no company. So basically, he was just stealing money from Estee Taco. He still talking about that he want money. He want hit 30% of everything, which is an asshole move, which is Stevie is an asshole. So what else do we expect? Father Moan, homegirl and got her lawyer. You going to win because I'm pretty sure Stevie ass ain't do the way he had to do to make that a real company. So, as they talk, oh, you might come out of this clean. Unless Stevie did cover his ass somehow, which I probably doubt he probably did. And so, you probably going to be the one winning in this. And if you did somehow, maybe through a little loophole, find your way to wiggle your little ass out of this contract with Stevie, congratulations. If not, you're still a dummy. Well, Tommy, I guess you had to look at yourself in the mirror hard enough to realize that you may have a problem, not, re not realizing that you do have a problem. So you decide to put yourself on the intake monitor on your ankle, which is a good thing. I can appreciate that you making steps. I told you to show me some receipts. You didn't show me some receipts, so I'm proud of you, Tommy. Now, don't fuck it up now. Continue to do good. Continue to move forward. Don't move backwards now. I'm glad you got to this point that you can at least realize that you may have a problem and you're going to slow down. If that means that you slowing down and you stopping, I'll take it. I'm glad to see that, Tommy. Now, Tommy... You're going to have to eat this bullet when it comes to you and Spice. I don't know if you was on a bender, what the fuck was going on in Miami. We didn't see no videos. We didn't see no clips of it. Judging from this season, you was going off and rolling down the road on this band of yours called Alcohol. So, I can only imagine how you was in Miami. And for you to say, judging by her videos, everyone you seen was trash. They was all horrible, horrible, trash, whatever you want to say, however you want to say it. At least she making money off her music videos. Don't matter if they look like an iPhone um, music video. She making money. You now trying to get your ass into this same industry that she trying to get in. Tommy, you should have just took this one on the chin and just roll with it. Because now you be winding back there, sitting up here arguing with Spice. You want to whoop her ass. You can't hold her, um, a legit, a legitimate argument with her. Because before you start arguing, you ready to beat somebody ass. Spice, if I was you, I don't know if you got hands or not. I calm down because you're dealing with a loose cannon. Once that cannon get to shooting, and once the thing explodes, her bullets shoot all over the place. So, Spice, I went riled up that angry, angry bear too damn hard. Anyways, though, y'all, that was the episode. Don't forget to like, share, comment, and subscribe. I'll see y'all later. Enjoy the rest of y'all night. Bye.